Good morning, Australia. I'm your crazy walk, and this is the police. So let's get off where we just started. Well, well where we were last time. The Thai police offered to Thomas Blaine shoots pregnant woman. Uh, didn't? Officer Blaine explains that thought she was a suicide bomber. Well, yes, no. Why would a man need a barn? To store all the stuff you can't bring home. About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even back then, there's something I always kept in the barn. Cheese? Drugs? Uh, honey? Drugs. I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. Fucking hell. In all the years we worked together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he Good never life. came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I oh. always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn. Especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. Eh? But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. I don't like this guy. How long like... you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack. I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You oh. told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jackie. If I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. My family, my relatives, God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. I'll try to be harsh. Your but... contract, Frank? Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now is not the time, Jack. Please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an inside line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's the damn fool oh. who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. Yeah, well, that's Anyone right. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. Well. Mm. Uh, what to do? So, normally, I will help anybody as much as I can. Buff. Fuck. I will normally agree to help you, but... Uh, I don't know, with the Mafia, man, that's... You shouldn't... Who gets greedy gets fucked in the ass, so I'm not gonna get greedy. I don't get anything out of this. And... Plus, it's your own fault, like... What the fuck, couldn't you just work as a normal cop? 
Sorry, man, but I think, I think this is your problem. I'm not gonna lecture you, Frank. I don't think I have anything to say that you don't already know. I'm sorry for your family. I wish them all the best of luck. You can find someone else. Sorry, man. But I'm not. I'm not gonna get corrupted because you're in the shit, man. Sorry. Uh, Birch, today they're offering free admission to all the museum in the city. I'm a big fan of. No. I like that shit. I'm too tired. I can hardly work straight. Can I go home? Well, you'll. Fairly tired, yes, but come back tomorrow. Okay, start the day. Smooth jazz. No matter your personal relationship with the city administration, your police station is in their mercy. In order to maintain reasonable working conditions, you have to send appropriate requests to the mayor. Okay. Oh, the, oh affairs. Okay, city hall. Decisions from City Hall depend on whatever uh, whatever they satisfy with your work. You can send requests every five days. The fools in charge of the city may refuse a right or accept only some of your requests, so only ask for what you really need. Uh, no. No. I think I'll ask for job slot. Same thanks. Police station, labor market, my clock, fire, all black ops. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm still not gonna do that. Okay, let's go for it. Ah, oh, already destroyed. Con every morning, there's a dirty piece of soccer bum sleeping on the cafe. The main. The man refused to go away and growls and anyone who approaches carry all the customers. I'm just gonna send some meeting? I think it's enough for a freaking bum. Sorry, homeless person. A uh, touch of dinosaur. Uh, a witness look on from her window while an arm man. Ooh. Okay, don't give a shit. Everybody's going on this. And Bird Junior. Port Swart. Let's see. Go for it, guys. I can still handle a couple of calls. Let's see. Fight. A uh, hot dog vendor reports that they saw two Elvis and grappling. Alright. Two. Well, this doesn't seem too serious. Let's see. Offender escaped. Oh, for fuck's sake, you can even. From City Hall, here's your week's salary. City Hall hopes we don't disappoint. Yay! Tomorrow's the deadline. I don't give a shit about your freaking deadline. Okay, Robert. Uh, the shop has two exits, from which a few people have already fled. Enter the store through the main entrance. Drive a petrol car. Patrol car. Sorry. Uh, petrol. Ah. Car right through the front window. Sneak up to the back door. Well, I got the SWAT. So sneak up to the back door. The sticker. The cop man noticed the police were oh, and took the cash hostage. He's holding his gun to the shining back of a boy's goddamn face off. Meanwhile, the cashier is yelling in an unknown language. Oh, you're in the mask. You're in the mask. Shut your face and drop your weapon. Why, Abdul? You're just making things more. I think this is gonna go down a little bit shitty, but I think I'm gonna go with this. The robber grows visibly nervous. Don't shoot, please, I just need the money. I'll take a little bit and go. 
I'm on vacation because I literally live here upright by uh, shot the rubber. There's two ways out of this shop in cuffs or in a body bag. Oh, yeah, this one. Offender call officers are not, civilians are not. Yeah, thanks, what? Who was this? Uh, you. Uh, robbery, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Jack is... Okay, not for the moment, I need people. Uh, it's... It's a hard one today, uh, and all of... And a lot of people are going for a swim. Last week, four people drowned because of free bird. And the press was in an uproar. Please send someone to keep. Okay, I'll send someone. I'm a good person. Right, report. Oh, with two? Oh, man, you're freaking useless, guys. Can someone come back home, please? Okay, good. Oh man, destruction of property. Yeah, you can all go. And I don't have enough police. Okay, you two guys can go on this one. But please come back as quick as possible. Please. Vandal and Bird Jr. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, again. Why can't you get him? End of the day for today. Looks like tomorrow is going to be a long day. More like the first of a lot of long days. There's just too much going on. Can I give someone... Serge Junior, you've been doing good. Oh no, wait, I can hear someone order you to work tomorrow. Ah, oh, that's good enough for the moment, isn't it? Thomas Blaine, pregnant woman killer sent, ah, oh, ah, oh, sent to mental hospital. Mayor Rogers not afraid of the competition. Well, I hope you're not. I'm going to the new mayor in town. Hopefully. Who knows? Mr. Boyd, there was a man here earlier. He left you this. A man? What man? Who let him on this floor? I don't know. I've never seen him before. I asked him his name, but he just ignored me. He was oh, talking a on a big telephone. You know, one of those portables. He gave me this envelope and left. One of Damn. the big ones. Okay, let's see about this. Big one. Yeah, I like my freaking face. The photo could have been doctored, of course, but Sam doesn't go in for cheap theatrics. Kendrick is dead, his family is dead, and they probably died slowly and painfully. Mm. But Sam's got a bigger game. He's not trying to frighten me. He's just trying to clue me in on the facts. I didn't agree to work for him on my own, so now they're just going to insist. I'm sorry. Boyd. Good morning, Jack. I believe you just received my message. Who am I speaking with? Oh, I'm sorry. I forget some people don't recognize my voice. But I assure you, Jack, if I was sitting right there in front of you, you'd have no trouble recognizing me. Like I was a member of your family. Even better than a wife, perhaps. A wife can betray you. No man is immune. I don't talk to people who don't tell me their names. Oh, Jack, don't be so childish. You're too old to run away from strangers. Yes, we both are. And in our old age, friendship becomes rare and all the more precious. But of course, we must work with new people and find out new names. So if you insist, Jack, let us formally meet. Hello, Jack Boyd. I'm Christopher Sand. Wonderful, Mr. Sand. And what is it you do for a living? Oh, you'll soon find out all about that. Well, you'll learn much more than a simple policeman could ever expect. Okay. You're a simple policeman no longer, Jack. 
don't turn off your phone. You start today. Back off. Good. That's what I would have done. Eight in ten. It's been my go-to principle since my first day on the job. I've got to let my colleagues hush up what they need to, two out of ten times, so that they'll help me with the remaining eight. Eighty out of a hundred, eight hundred out of a thousand. I'm proud of those statistics. It's not so bad for Freeburg, right? Yeah. But now I just officially became a mafia whore. Oh. I'm supposed to be fearing for my life, for the lives of my wife and children. Oh. But the only thing I can think... What's going to happen to 8 and 10? Uh, there's a new movie opening today starring my favorite... No. They say I'm... It's going to rain today and I have a very weak... No, fuck. I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together today. Can I go home? Yes. Oh man, I got a drunk one. Beautiful. Alcoholic, you freaking dickhead. Fire all black cops. Check. Failed. I don't give a shit. Job slot officer. Oh, yes. Uh, Andrew, political views unknown, unknown, unknown. Uh, Hire for shift uh, B. So now, I want five birds you need to tell you the truth. <coughs> shift B, freaking good. I thought I fired you, Price. Tenth murder. Oh, come on, that's... That's impossible. Uh, parking, lots of tenant dating burn, reposting a teenager walking between cars, trying to handle... handles in hopes of finding an unlocked field before the tenant could approach him, the teenager fan, and unlocked all... Ooh. Okay, Kuchi, Tsubaki, and Asano. You're all free on this, okay? Don't fuck it up. Calls? Oh, I don't have any calls. I can't do any calls. Price you freaking old. Sweet ginger, swing, sweet ginger green. Officer, I've seen. Officer, I've Overtake the criminal, attempt to take him into custody. Overtake the offender and block the road, catch up with his. Well. Yeah. Wow, that was quick. Yeah. That's what you call freaking good stuff. Uh, a weeping child called in saying that someone was holding him against his will. They won't let him go outside. They tortured me and bullied me. I don't think. I don't know how serious this can be. I'm not gonna send everybody on that freaking call. A kid, come on. Probably it's true. So three people on the freaking job should be enough. Uh, we received a call from an angry casino patron. He claims that one of the casino girls that was hanging around his table f lift his wallet, which was carrying a couple of thousand dollars. Yancy, Tsubaki, you can go, guys. Actually, instead of Yancy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you Austin. What's this situation? I 
I knew this bullshit. Uh, Jack, we're dealing with a moron who refused to repay his tapes. Says that the police will protect him. I think it's time to show him who's the... Refuse? Your debts, not mine. If you can't even get your freaking debts right, well, that's your freaking problem. Nice. That's pretty. Okay, guys. I'm home. Oh, even price. Well, I'm gonna fire you soon. Thief. Report. Off offend the court. Officers unarmed. Good. City Center. Uh, at the parking lot exit, a security guard stopped a suspicious looking van and asked to check the driver's membership card. The female driver reached casually into the glove compartment and then pulled out a gun. Ooh. Oh, yeah, go for it, guys. All the best. I got all the best on this. I thought I fired you, Price. What the fuck happened there? I'll fire you tomorrow. You old freaking. A police uh, cruiser has caught up with the port of van. Use a bullhorn to order the van to stop. Try to run the van off the road? That doesn't seem like a good thing. Shoot the criminal tires. Use a ball horn. Ah. The van takes a sharp turn and crashes through the window of a sex shop. A woman exits the vehicle, grabs a sharp turn and puts... Shoot the criminal in the head. Let, let go of the man right now. Fuck it. Throw a rubber sex doll at the... I don't think the last one's gonna solve everything, so I'm just gonna shoot him in the head. When the court, yeah, I caught him dead. Good. Well, that that ended up well. Duck, shoot him. <laughs> and that next time he doesn't play with freaking water guns. The, ooh, robbery, report. Open investigation. Oh, okay. Oh, I have information on the uh, space homicide. Investigation. Ah, oh, I didn't even remember about this. They drove by in a stand. Ah, oh, this. Oh. Close? No, still not right. Um, to carry out the arrest, two officers must escort the lead investigator to our. Uh, okay, not a problem. I uh, also remember that criminals who react in different ways. A frightened thief is likely to surrender as soon as the game is up. A brutal kill might want to see just how many he can take with him. Okay, well, SWAT team. I don't think I need the SWAT, but I'm just gonna say not two of the best. Vandal, Asano, you can go. We've had the lead detective. No, can I choose someone else? Not for the moment. Ah, oh, yes, you know what, fuck it. I think I can do it, yeah. I I can do it. I don't think it's that freaking difficult at least. And did we get him? Robbery. Offender cord. Beautiful. 
Well, that went up a lot. End of the day. Okay, price. No. Can I order you to work tomorrow, please? Thanks. I want to fight the freaking petty. Racist gangs run wild in the city. Investigation to Francis Kendrick could resume. Ooh, second tower to build in the free bars. Hey, big. <laughs> this poor freaking car. The people of Freiburg have built up a tolerance for the petty horrors of modern life. You'll never see crowds gathering around a beaten passerby. Folks rarely even slow to gawk at a car accident. And street theft doesn't turn heads anymore. Been a long time since people got worked up about stuff like that. So when I ran into a troubled crowd on the way to work, I knew there was something serious going on. Something bad enough to knock these people out of their daily rhythm. And we're talking about people who would step over a corpse if it was blocking the door to the coffee shop. But apparently all it takes is a bunch of leaflets. Or spreading broken glass across Main Street. Or releasing a couple of hundred rats in the ice arena. The mysterious figure taking responsibility for these strange acts goes by the alias Robespierre. Nobody knows who he is, what he wants, or what all this adds up to, from the buckets of lard spread on the sidewalk to the front door of City Hall covered with ostrich feathers. But this strange cross between childhood pranks and cheap theatrics has got the people all worked up. Everyone understands when some Freeburg crook satisfies the basic human need to rob and kill. But when someone steals a lion from the local zoo and locks him in a cell below the courthouse, the people start asking questions. Myself, I kind of like this Robespierre. It's not just the pranks he's pulling or his green bull's head emblem. I just like his funny nickname. Robespierre? Really? Yeah. Who does that make me? The Marquis de Lantanac? I don't think so. <laughs> In the old books about revolutions, I fancy myself the old gunner who goes off to war with a bag of damp powder. Or maybe the innkeeper who tops up the beer kegs with mop water. Hmm. It's something to think about. I like that bull. It's not Red Bull, it's Green Bull. It's not product placement. Okay, my team is uh, your new deputy. Uh, it's my dog perfect and I want to spend this uh, day with her at the park. Oh. Oh. Yes, but come tomorrow, please. Oh, it's so... Uh, turn out to be a member of the gang known as the Red Mask. He could help you to take down the gang if... Hmm. Okay. A number of gangs in Friedberg. Okay. Start investigating. Yeah. Start to investigate. Lead you. Fuck yes. Mafia can offer you some very interesting service. You're practically a member of the family now, so it will hardly cost you a thing. A phase? Oh, the sands. Mafia will satisfy... Mafia will satisfy special investigation on the detective who arrives at the scene. Will be killed, only one detective. Oh, fuck. Mafia will satisfy special crime in progress report and all officers who arrive at the scene will be killed. No, fuck it. I'm not gonna do this bullshit. It's not Kendrick, but there's not unless as it might seem. He can handle some of your duties when you're pressed off time. Okay, deputy. Services, send your stuff for training. Holy 
Police Academy. Yes. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna send some MIDI. Accept. Thanks. Close. And uh, a phase. Police station. Fire. Didn't come to work, came to work drunk. Too old for it to us. Why can't I fire him? Can't even freaking fire him. What does this mean? What does this? Oh, is it the school? Okay, and what does this mean? Okay, is at home? Where's the shift B? I want to see shift B. Okay, I can't see shift B. Let's go for it. Big food. Of, uh, a shoe store clerk reports that two teenagers found the most expensive sneaker on display, tried them on, and then without paying ran. Well, this, this doesn't seem too bad. Edge Jr., come on, you can't fuck it up, you with. Kochi. Uh, Bowling gives several interviews uh, in which she spoke about. Uh, Atrocities committed by the Red Mask Gang. She um, uh, whatever that that hell is. A lot and distorted the facts. If you want to keep people from panicking, you'll need to take down the gang in four days. Well, I need some freaking clues to do that. I just fire you legally. City Hall, have I got something else? The teens are standing around smoking off far from the store. I mind the new shoes. Try to grab one of the boys. Time to return the shoes. Hey, mind if I have a cigarette? Uh, I think I'm gonna grab one of those boys. Good. Officers unarmed. Virginia, you're doing a little bit better. A man returned from work earlier than usual and found his young wife in bed with a lover. Okay, this is gonna take some big shit to stop him. I will freaking kill him as well. Tell you the truth. What's this? Man's range. City Hall, today Freeburger we are hosting a premiere of Back to the Future. The film's distribution have has the city... Oh, yeah? Robbins. You got it. Don't you? Hope so. Hope you got it. Ten murder. Okay, good. That's good. Villain is unarmed. That that's the main thing. Nobody get hurt, gets hurt, and everybody comes home. Uh, assault. A young father, uh, deprived of his parental rights, tried to pick up his daughter from school when he wasn't allowed access. He attacked a teacher, knocked. Come on, man! Don't do this freaking stuff. It's no good. What's this? City center. Mr. Boyd, I have a very sensitive issue, which is our mutual friend, Charles Dill. Never heard about him. Said you could help me with... Uh, help me with... What? As you may already know, I own the largest music stores of Freebird. Recently, my ex-wife got half my record collection in a lawsuit. No freaking problem. There's a lot of rare records. My ex is uh, very afraid of the police and always tries to act like a low acting. Oh, okay, well, that's easy. Yeah, you two can go. Oh, I have to send free. 
You got it, guys. Mafia signed. Like we have something going down. Uh, we wouldn't want any policemen, I think. At tw uh, 20 past 10. No worries, I might close the night. Might, I'm not sure. Uh, guy says that someone got into the exhibition hall. Screwed old picture. You're a good one. You can go assault. Okay, beautiful. Officers and arms, civilians and armed. Beautiful, that's good. Rich Biba. If we helped Rich uh, Biba and to and to thank us, he gave us a uh, Gennaro uh, who grant. Okay, so she was really sad and she was at the bar by the time the shift. Okay. Thanks for. Wow, well, thanks. That's that's helpful. What does B mean? Where is her? Tactics thoughts. Uh, I might get another one. Hire for shift. Uh, this is shift A. So I'm gonna hire you for shift A. All the lights are on when the police arrive. The museum caretaker explains that he's only had a job a couple of weeks and he's worried he's going to be fired on this for Okay, come on with your hands up, break down the door. Oh, just give him over. A terrified and tearful young man holding a knife insists that he's engaged in some kind of performance art and that no one understands him. He refused to surrender. Well, this seems pretty easy. You just want to talk. Yeah, that's that's the way to do it. Just keep him calm and nobody's gonna get hurt and everything's gonna go down just fine. Okay, everybody's back. Everybody's back. Everybody's back. Oh, yeah, I have to wait for 20 past 10. 9 11 in progress. Yeah. Everybody on this. Even Birch Jr. Yeah, even you can go. Even though you total disappointment. Oh, receiving stolen property. Ooh, open investigation. Okay, so Ning is the faithful student in Jin Yang. He found a member of the gang is shoot with the most serious job. Yeah, he keeps his more valuable prizes at home while he arranges their sale. He then brings them by brings them to the Wise Dragon restaurant. Uh by Restaurant. Usually the restaurant is open around the clock, but is it was closed the night before because um, as a key to the restaurant. So this, this, and this. Now, sometimes uh, cold turns out a lot worse than. Anyone could have guessed. When this happens, offers my request enforcement. You have. Oh, okay, reinforcement. Yeah, yeah, I'll send everybody. Psychology test. Jack, you must have seen the newspaper stories about Thomas Blaine. Yeah. The, re the retired cop who went uh, schizophrenic and shot a pregnant woman. Yes. To ensure this tragedy doesn't repeat itself, we decided to conduct a psychological testing for all the cops over 50 years of age. Why only, why only over 50? I don't understand, but 
All right. That includes you, Jack. Tomorrow morning, Dr. Eleonora Waterbury is waiting for you in the office. Don't be late. You fight yourself. Ah, come on. That's fucking bullshit. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Why couldn't I just send the SWAT as well? Isama, like we don't know why you did it, but we hope you had a good reason. Don't forget, it was your friends. Well, you know, offenders, court officers unarmed. That's what I like to hear. End of the day. And it's the end of the day even for us. So this is all for This Is The Police. I'm your crazy wog and I hope to see you back soon. Really soon.